Hey everyone, welcome to the channel BMW Fanatic. Hey, this one is a hot topic that I see way too much and the point of this video is really to kind of get that information to you so that way when you actually do tune this car you kind of do the checks and balances prior to actually physically installing that tune on your car so that's coming here next so let's go ahead and flip to my garage and chat further So if you're really thinking about pulling the trigger and actually getting a tune for your N54 powered or N55 powered BMW platform car, you definitely need to replace these parts first. And I'm going to link everything in the description below as far as what you do need to replace. You got spark plugs, you got coil packs, and you know those are the two main things as far as that you need to replace. Mostly so you actually eliminate and help reduce your actual uh, your car actually misfiring so when you throw a tune on it you're actually obviously increasing the boost increasing the timing everything's changing uh, for your dme so the first thing it's going to really have issues with is worn out spark plugs or worn out coil packs you know you got your bmw spark plugs they hold plenty of power you don't have to go to ngk you don't have to do any of that as far as even with a full bolt on the car you do not need to have ngks or anything like that uh, so definitely just stick with the BMW OE plugs. So I'll have a link in there in the description below. When you're ready to change out your spark plugs, you definitely need to get the burger tuning, a spark plug socket. This, of course, is a magnetic base. It's very thin wall, makes it work great. I've been using this thing for four years now. I've done tons of spark plug changes. It's perfect, no issues whatsoever. Link in the description below for that. And then upgrading your coil pack. So, you know, BMW started with the whole Bosch coil packs, which are complete junk. They just, they're just not good anymore. They were okay like five years ago or whatever be the case, but with just them failing like crazy, I ditched the whole Bosch ones years and years ago. BMW switched to Delphi coil packs, which I ran those for about a couple months or so. That's when I switched over to Elder, and that's what I've been currently running since the summer of 2016. BMW then switched to the Elder coil packs, and 2016 and eliminated all the other ones. So definitely if you're looking to upgrade and replace, you're gonna go ahead and go with the elder ones. Now I'll put a link in the description below as far as where to get those at so that way you can get your cool packs and get it ready to go. And essentially is, you know, like what I mentioned, when you're adding a tune to this platform car, you're up in the boost, you're doing everything else like that, it's going to wear out your stock parts and you're gonna have misfires and everything like that. So, you know, with having my car at 18 pounds, it runs like a dream all the time, never any misfires whatsoever. That's definitely very important and it's always been great. So, you know, thumbs up on that piece and, you know, that's what I'm trying to re recommend it to you guys. I see it way too often as far as people coming in and saying, oh, I got a misfire, I got this going on with my car, you know, what's going on, everything like that. And it's usually, you know, they didn't replace the plugs, they didn't replace the coils, they didn't replace a lot of other maintenance things. So outside of just plugs and coils, make sure your maintenance is up to par. That way when you start throwing power at it and doing all these crazy things to it, your car is ready to go and there won't have any issues. It just helps you so you don't, you're not frustrated when you, you know, you get a tune on, you get all excited. So then that way you don't get all down in the dumps when your car doesn't run very good and you know, everything like that. So that's definitely very important. And then, you know, that way you can have a great day and you're good to go. It's really as easy as that. Keep all that maintenance up, plugs, coils, good to go, and you're ready to boost on. Well, there you have it, easy as that. You need to definitely make sure to follow those steps. You know, if you are gonna tune your N54 or N55, please be sure to make sure you have fresh spark plugs in there and also coil packs. It may seem somewhat redundant in a way, but you gotta think about how you are upping the boost, upping the timing, upping all these uh, ignition factors, all these tuning factors to be able to get more power out of your BMW. It's actually, it's gonna pull the weakness out of your already existing parts. So, and that's not just spark plugs and coil backs and all that. That could be fuel pumps, injectors, all that. But majority of the whole tuning goes 
it's most likely usually always the spark plugs and the actual coil packs so like I mentioned down in the description below you have the link for the actual uh, spark plugs you can pick those up also the coil packs so you can do that as well and then you know the spark plug tool that is definitely very important that you must have that uh, no ifs, ands, or buts, so please be sure to pick that up today as well. Doing those steps is going to really make your car, you're going to be real successful with having a tune on your car that you're actually going to enjoy and not have misfires and all that kind of stuff. So that's the biggest point that I'm really trying to make across is uh, definitely for that piece. So, you know, to eliminate all that, follow those steps, like I mentioned, buy the parts that you need to buy. And that way you will have a happy day when you have your tune on your BMW N54 or N55 platform. Well, everyone, that does it for today. Thank you for stopping in. If you found the video informative, definitely give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe and, of course, comment. Have a great weekend and check you out on the next video. See ya.